Welcome to this Knowledge Forum video tutorial, which will show you how to create a new contribution to your community space. What we see here is called a Knowledge Forum view. It's blank, so we don't have any conversation going on here yet, but it's easy to add the first contribution. Uh, if you look over to the left-hand side of the screen, you'll see a pencil icon located at the top of the toolbar. When you click on this icon, a new note will open up for you to write in. You'll see that the note features a title bar, and right below this are the knowledge building scaffolds. Underneath the scaffolds is the editor palette and your text box. If I want to begin my note with a scaffold, I simply mouse over the scaffold choices and then click to select the scaffold I want to use. Uh, you'll notice that I can also scroll within this little space here to access more scaffolds below. So I can click on the scaffold I wish and it will automatically appear in the text box below and then I can begin uh, writing my idea. Now I'm studying insects for example so I'll write um, a note about bees. I'm also able to use more than one scaffold in an individual note so if I still have a question remaining I can select the appropriate scaffold and enter my question. And then if I'm done typing the content of my note, I'll go up and give my note a title. And once I'm done and I've given my note a title and finished with the content of the note, I'll scroll down to the bottom right hand side of the note and I'll click contribute. I can now see my note has been automatically added to the knowledge form view and I can see the title that I've given my note and then my name as author underneath. Uh, you'll notice that if I mouse over the note title here and it becomes highlighted, uh, I can both click and drag and move this note anywhere that I choose to on the knowledge forum view. Okay, so unlike in a threaded discussion forum, a contribution is fixed in place. In knowledge forum, you can move your contributions anywhere you like at any time. Uh, I, you'll also notice that when you do scroll over, a little blue box uh, will open up and that'll just show me the beginning contents of a note. If I want to go back and read the note that I just contributed, I can scroll over and double click and then my note will open up. You'll notice here that this interface looks a little bit different than the one that we saw when we were typing into our note. Uh, and that's because notes in Knowledge Forum have two modes. There's the read mode, which we're looking at here. And then there's the write or the edit mode, which we use when we're contributing content to a note. Um, and I can, as an author of a note, I can go back and edit and revise my note at any time. Um, and to do that, I simply go to the bottom right and click this button here, edit. And then I'm taken back into the write mode of my note and I can make any kind of edits or changes that I wish. I can click contribute and then I'll close my notes and I can see that it's reappeared on the screen. I want to check to make sure that addition is there. I can see the revision here and my note is back on the knowledge form view.